Hey guys, that my gamer back here for another video. Decided so today let's go ahead and take a look at how I run my offense. A lot of people have liked my offense in my live stream, so I want to go ahead and show you guys how to run it. This is out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, offensive playbook. You can use a mobile quarterback. I prefer a mobile quarterback. We do not need a mobile quarterback. Now we are in process mode. Process mode doesn't give us the full extent of how the game actually works. Obviously, there's no first down, and a lot of my a lot of my plays are going to be smart routed. So not having a first down definitely hurts but we'll show you the concepts in this video so starting off right away the first two formations i love the most are tight doubles and tight they give you the same exact concept a tight formation type of look and if you look at the actual play art you guys can see right here it does show off a halfback out of the backfield two on the left two on the right and if i look at tight doubles it's exactly the same concept first play we're going to look at though is mesh spot now mesh spot let's go ahead and come out against a, a cover two with which everyone runs online nowadays. This is what the initial play looks like. Now, there's different ways you can set this up and change this up to kind of mess with your opponent. Starting off right away is smart routing that triangle route or that Y on the Xbox button. In order to smart route somebody, all you're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and click on triangle. Then you're gonna go ahead and click on whoever you want. So Sammy Watkins and R1, which is gonna give me the smart route option. Now, the thing that sucks in process mode, as you guys can see, is it's not much of a smart route in process mode. In an actual game, especially if I'm in a short yard situation, this would be an absolute money type play. But pretty much what I'm doing here is just rolling out to the left hand side, looking downfield, connecting with my receiver. Now, you can do this in the pocket. It's a couple different situations. So if this is the concept you're in right now where the guy is running a deeper out route, a corner route this is when you're going to want to probably roll out and kind of go against that you know deeper blue right there so you guys can see on the left hand side that blue is sitting there and he's actually playing underneath so if i go ahead and run this again watch that corner back on the left hand side this is when you're going to be making your decision so you see that corner you see how he drops there but he doesn't drop too too much bam he's going to get open deeper now on a soft route let's say for example it's like second and two and i run the same concept he's going to have a shorter smart routed play which will go ahead and mean that cornerback dropping like that will go ahead and get that cornerback involved and that's when you don't want to throw that kind of pass so when it, let's say for example when your opponent starts running cloud flats so cloud flats is pretty much to cover over top and underneath when they do that you want to be very very mindful of that because of the fact that of course if they do that they're going to drop back and they're going to cover this outside corner play you are running right it's going to be absolutely destroyed because they're playing cloud flats so you got to be careful in that play now if you see that corner right there drop you're going to go ahead and hit and hit the underneath guy so we go ahead and look at this play again the tight end it can either be andrews right here underneath or it can be the wide receiver so this is a concept i used to i love to run online and it's so annoying to stop but here is what we do so we walk to all the left hand side here right bam 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 throw the tight end check down it's such an easy concept such an easy play you can walk to your left hand side especially like i said your mobile quarterback works out very well and there's a couple different things you can do so first off you want to kind of get that user to follow you a little bit um especially if you keep doing the same concept the user is going to be like okay i need to cover the underneath route here because i got over the top perfectly fine that's when you go ahead and destroy them so starting off right away if we go ahead and do the exact same concept again and we go ahead this time put on circle on a streak we can now roll to the left hand side here and bam you guys see over top that little streak or that little slant route wide open every single time the user come underneath to try to stop that tight end concept over top is absolutely open every single time especially because that cloud flat and right there they actually made a really good play on that they actually pi'd my guy like crazy but as long as they don't pi your guy you're pretty much fine on that the reason why that concept works is because yes they're not shading underneath right because they're not shading underneath on this play the over top cornerback is going to be covering that corner route right so that means underneath is wide open now the user is covering underneath because you keep running it against him which means now that intermediate route right here is going to get wide open on the play and that's a free 20 30 yards every single time now let's say you keep running this against your uh, opponent right and another concept real fast before we get into this you can roll to your left hand side here and if that 
stupid guy in the middle here is not actually playing that that safety is not playing that which in a lot of different defenses they won't be especially for example if you are playing someone who users that position right there that wide open position right there will be wide open because the user won't be covering that right so the user won't be there to go ahead and mess it up so that play will get wide open too i'm in a bad situation right now because of the fact that the cpu is actually playing how they're supposed to be playing and if they are playing how they're supposed to be playing that circle route will be covered by a linebacker but a lot of times people like to use that linebacker slash put a safety there and they like to move them out of the place so if that's the case and that user is underneath right here that play right there is gonna be wide open across the middle so you can even throw that one and that one usually ends up being anywhere from 20 to 50 yards depending on you know if the if your person you're playing against does go ahead and try to like hit stick you misses tackles all that kind of good stuff that could be even more yardage just based on that but this simple concept right here for the most part will always work against cover two cover three the outsides they shade underneath then you have bam triangle they shade over top and play cloud flats then you have the tight end they use the tight end you have that slant route right so now when you running this over and over again right your opponent's like oh my god i can't stop this guy it's so stupid that's when you hit him with a tight concept but tight mesh so now tight mesh is the same exact look right so if you look at this right and you like exact same look now if you do go ahead and get uh, so for example i recently put slot apprentice on my uh on my triangle receiver here you can actually go ahead and put him on a corner route and have the exact same look as a uh, gun mesh spot play which is actually awesome because then you can actually run the same concept you've been running except now you have it as again that tight end Watkins on the outside and then you have your tight end over here on Andrews so here's what this concept looks like so you guys see right here he ha did play a little bit uh, farther back but let me go ahead and show you guys what you want to do when you start up the play so first off take Andrews like always going to smart route him like that now if we go ahead and look at the play here he actually is running exactly Exact same play if I smart round him or not. Again, this is just an issue of the practice mode doesn't work correctly. Um, and there's no first downs. So starting off right away, uh, if you go ahead and have this deep of a play, it's there's no point to run it. I'll be honest. There's no play, there's no reason to even throw this pass if it's this much of a deep route because at that point the outside safety is going to cover this and most likely going to pick it off unless you have a really really good tight end you're probably going to get picked off in the play because of the fact that this this is such a deep route most of the time this won't be a deep route especially in short yard situations this will probably be a very very short route if it's a short smart route it will be wide open almost for six pretty much every single time but if it is a deeper route like that, it's just simple. You can't, you, you, you can't run this. It's almost pointless because of how deep it is. The safety will just pick it up. But what that does mean is that you can run the concept. But again, like I said, you're not looking for the tight end. So the tight end, if anything, is a guy to draw back that corner. So if we go ahead and watch this playback, um, and I did not mean to choose a new play, uh, but if we go ahead and watch this playback, you will see that that cornerback on that left-hand side he's dropping right so he's actually in a cloud flat so let's go ahead and do the same concept again just like that that cornerback right there he's especially if you keep running against your opponent he's gonna drop he's gonna drop with a tight end that tight end will bring that corner back that's when you can dink and dunk underneath so right here i'm actually the again the cpu is absolutely bugging my soul right now but it's how they play because they do not play like an actual c oh like uh what's called an actual person but for the most part though other than what's happening here the the the, the uh, usually they'll put the guys in claw flats which will allow the underneath it happen now if they do go and shade underneath that's when you hit them over top with that tight end again like i said it's a really crappy situation being in passes mode right now because it doesn't show in any way what a realistic man looks like it's the most unrealistic man never in passes mode nonetheless though the same concept will apply on either side of the ball so if you do get slotted apprentice on your triangle receiver he'll be wide open every single time on the left hand side you have the right hand side go back and forth wherever the user isn't using you can go and just keep flipping it back and forth on him now the next play we're going to be looking at guys is actually going to go ahead and be out of a completely different formation and completely different concept so let me go ahead and choose new plays here and we're going to now take a look at this play right here so if we go ahead and go over to 
gun empty bunch wide this is the play we're going to be running it's called drive wheel now if we go ahead and run that concept and let's say we run it against a uh typical for example everyone loves their cover two let's run in cover two so this is what the play will look like when you first set it up so first off what i want you to do is put that uh square receiver right there in the flat just like that you go ahead and smart route this triangle receiver right here which did absolutely nothing because press mode sucks uh and then we're going to be doing here is actually motioning over this wide receiver as most wide receiver is on a little bit of a drag route so you can go ahead and do that you can even if you want to streak your tight end right there hike the ball bam and then watching it behind that defense right here and lamar jackson just misses the throw as he gets hit but that he gets right behind that defense again like i said like always if it, in a game it's going to be a, a better smart route in process mode it's an absolute dull crap uh smart route but for the most part in actual game it will be an absolute amazing sm uh, smart route he'll get behind the defense right there uh now if they are coming out in we'll say cloud flats so or shading over top that half back of the backfield right there is gonna be wide open for an easy check down route right here they're shading over top every oh shade underneath every single time allowing the over top to get open but they do shade over top half back is wide open every single time and also keep in mind guys you have some other reads on this play you also have the drag route underneath here so if we go ahead and hike the ball uh, and i hiked it a little bit too early but you have that drag route across the middle who will get wide open every single time too and again the user just has to kind of pick and choose where they want to use her and if they go ahead and use that left hand side you have either have the drag route or you also have a couple other concepts so we go ahead and wait for this pass you can go and I get hit again. I, I don't know why this Ravens line is so freaking bad in process mode. Either that or the Saints offensive line is really that good in process mode. But anyway, though, if I go ahead and do this same concept again, you can see that X receiver will get open on that right-hand side. And oh, my God. <laughs> Tom, I, gotta, I gotta watch that play back. I gotta watch that play back because this is why it's so difficult to use process mode sometimes okay i am running this on all madden too look at the steel's right tackle cam jordan just absolutely molly whopped that right tackle oh my god that was that was absolutely disgusting but here's another concept you can run the same exact play so first off what i want you to do here is go ahead and put watkins on an out route just like that you're also going to go ahead and put andrews on a streak and hike the ball now rashad bateman if i go ahead and roll out to my right hand side here what you will see is rashad bateman's wide open right now what you want to do is not throw it that quickly as i just threw it what you want to do because what's going to happen here right if i go ahead and run the same concept again he's going to actually run he's going to run a route off the right hand sideline eventually he's going to just sit down on that route and chill so let me go ahead and see wait for it wait for it bam right there he's gonna sit on that route and chill and not go anywhere and the safeties will not cover that the corners won't cover it and by the time your user you're playing against actually recognizes what just happened you already have a big huge play on the play so again let's go ahead and have him destroy him we'll sit wait 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 and i had to throw that one the guy came in but like i said before he's gonna sit there and just stop on the play if your opponent is you is blitzing nobody against you which happens more often than not especially if you're a mobile quarterback you're going to be able to get this route to work consistently again like i said you just gotta have to get a little lucky get a little more time to throw it but especially if your opponent is just not blitzing anyone he's going to get wide open on that right hand side all right come on cam jordan hold your guy hold your guy hold your guy and right there and again just do a little bit too early that play again like i said it's going to work but you have to have time to throw the ball and a lot of times you don't have time like that to throw the ball so if i go ahead and walk to my right hand side here you guys can see boom boom, boom and <laughs> just threw it off my back leg there but again like i said it does work a lot you just have to do a little bit more time to throw the ball and it, that's the type of play i will say if you are going to call that play that's the type of play i would call in like a fourth and 24 tw fourth and 25 when you know you need a big play to happen right you know you need a crazy crazy insane play to happen that's the type of play you call on fourth and 25 when you're like i need this to be the game winning play right i need this to be an insane play that gets me 25 30 yards your opponent's not going to even see that coming it's almost impossible to see coming because 
if anything, you're like, okay, well, this is kind of stupid. And again, you could throw it quicker if you want to. Uh, I don't really have too much success throwing it quicker sometimes. But like I said before, you can throw that quicker. So if I go ahead and run the same concept again, let's hike the ball here. Bam. Gets behind that corner right there. Throws the pass. I get hit. So it completes it. You can throw it quick if you want. But if you want it to be a big, big play, you're going to have to wait a little bit and wait for that ball to get actually uh, down the field there. So on the same concept again. Bam, gets hit. And again, like I said, you can throw this quicker if you want. Lamar Jackson's going to sail it every single time, though. Don't get Lamar Jackson. Here's the more of this video. Do not play with Lamar Jackson. You can't throw the ball in Madden. <laughs> every time I play with Lamar Jackson, you cannot throw the ball in Madden. So, like I said... Lamar is going to sail that every single time. But a normal quarterback, a good quarterback in Madden, would dot that up instantly. So, again, like I said, that is another concept. Now, the next concept we're looking at is actually out of the same exact play formation as, again, just don't get Lamar Jackson. That's pretty much the concept of this video. I should have said this video, don't play with Lamar Jackson. He's absolute trash. But anyway, the same concept applies uh, for empty, base, wide. And we'll play what we're looking at here, guys. going to go ahead and be spacing switch, okay? So spacing switch is going to come out in the cover two defense. What we're going to do in this play is this is what it looks like base formation, right? We're going to streak that square receiver right there, put a shot Bateman on a slant route, and that's exactly what we're going to do in this play. So we have a couple of different concepts to run. First off, it all depends on this cornerback on the left-hand side. This cornerback on the left-hand side, if he shades over top, then we know we have the halfback underneath every single time on a flat route, just like that, right? So if he does that, bam, we have underneath. If not, we also have that streak route, which I like to throw to, I'm sorry, the uh, slant route, we like to throw to a lot. Also, we also have, of course, that streak route to Marquise Brown. So this is a play I like to run not too, too often. It's it's a really interesting concept. That right tackle is absolutely getting demolished on every single play. It's an interesting concept you can run. If you, let's say you need like three yards, four yards, nothing too crazy big, uh, you can run it. And if you, for example, again, because it's you do have that streak route right there, if, you, let's say, for example, he gets behind the defense, you can actually turn a fourth and one into a 60-yard touchdown. So it all depends on what your opponent comes out in. He has to respect your... Uh, with that being said. All right, so here is a, another play I like, and it's actually out of um, t Trips Halfback Week. So it's called Close Bucks Fade, and we're going to come out against a... Let's go ahead and come out against Cover 1, okay? First thing you're going to do, go ahead and block the halfback. Go ahead and streak Duvernay right here. Look at Watkins on the left-hand side. That's the guy we're looking for in this play. I, I always call this play in like my live streams or my videos the play that gets me a touchdown or an interception. It's either going to be a pick six or a touchdown. The reason why is because that left-hand side here, it'll say they come out in a cover three, a lot of different coverages. The safety won't cover this correctly, and this will be almost wide open every single time. It depends on what your opponent comes out in. Depends if this is wide open every single time. If they come out in cover four, a prevent defense, then yes, the safety over top is going to stop that and it's going to be absolutely demolished. So let's run this again, this time against a cover three. So before halftime, a lot of times, the opponent will go ahead and just mo they'll move up their guys. If they move up their guys, this is almost a free tutty every single time if they move up their defense. But if not, like I said before, it's going to be difficult. If it is double safety sound there, you're most of the time not going to get this. This is that one play tutty where, you know, it's the end of the game or, or it's fourth down and whatever. And you're like, you know what? Fluff it. I need a big play here. This is your big play. This is your, you know, pull it out of your butt type of play, right? Where you're like, you know what? I'm just going to try to chuck one up here. This lets you be able to get that one-on-one -on -one coverage that you actually need. This is that one-on-one -on -one coverage that you're going to get on that left-hand side. Now, I have Sammy Watkins here, so it doesn't really help out. They have a slow, slow Sammy Watkins. If you have someone faster, though, you're going to even have better results. You have, like, someone, let's say, uh, Jamar Chase over here. You're going to absolutely blue, uh, breeze by the guy. And if you have a really good throw power quarterback, say you even have, like, Pazuka on your quarterback, you're going to be able to throw a dot every single time on the left-hand side. So if they run man, your opponent keeps coming out in man coverage, and you're like, 
Oh, why well, keeps coming out of man coverage? This is going to get open pretty much every single time against man, as you saw in the beginning of the clip. Now, our last play we're looking at today, guys, and I want to make this video like 45 minutes long, is going to go ahead and be actually against man coverage. So, go back to empty a bunch wide, and we call it Z. Uh, that play right there on the right hand side let's go ahead and come out against a simple man coverage so cover to man it's gonna be difficult to do this because this offensive line the ravens have absolute dull crap but we're gonna set the same concept up as we had before for our other play this time though we're gonna motion over with shot bateman so this is what it looks like okay just like that hike the ball wait for it what i would say wait for it if freaking my right tackle could block but oh this is okay, this can be a little bit difficult because i do have a right tackle who just simply is not playing football today so we're gonna have to hope this right tackle blocks okay yeah i'm getting absolutely destroyed in that right tackle so oh it's gonna be hard to show off if you're if you have a really bad offensive line this is not the play for you just telling you right now this is not the play for you if you have a bad offensive line and let's go ahead and look at the play again because it will let me hike the ball uh the play we have actually okay that's weird no actually yeah it won't it won't let me hike the ball it's glitched oh madden 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 okay so it's z spot and go that's the play and i'm just, i'm just hoping here that this offensive lineman can actually block because this play is such a good play against man coverage who you're looking for by the way is sammy watkins on this play he beats pretty much every single man so i threw that way too early but as you guys saw he stops and he goes upfield once he goes upfield he's wide wide open and as long as you can have a right tackle who is not incompetent you can do pretty much everything here so let's go ahead and do that again and there we go we got the look we wanted and he gets wide open across the middle there so again this is a man beater that you have to have some time to throw the ball just like always it's pretty much every one of these plays you have to have the time to throw the ball uh if you get you know sacked instantly against someone's you know a nano blitz you're not going to really do much against them but pretty much as i get hit again <laughs> Oh, this Ravens offensive line is really giving me a headache. But let's watch this play back on the instant replay because this is exactly the concept I liked. All right, so here we go. You guys can see it's a one-on-one -on -one coverage. This right here, especially if Sammy was a little bit, if Sammy was a little bit faster, it'd be absolute money. You want to put your fastest guy here. You guys can see the separation, absolutely gorgeous. And then right there, bam, you hit him right there in stride. You're perfect instead what ends up happening is my freaking actually my right tackle played good here it was my center my right guard <laughs> that's what you don't want man that's what you don't want on the play let's try this again okay offensive line please please block and bam that's money that's money right there that's a man beater right there guys so guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions i definitely want to hear your thoughts and opinions down below hopefully this video did help you out if it did make sure to like and subscribe but i'm going to keep this a little bit raw and uncut i can't glitch out here i'm gonna keep this raw and cut because i want to go ahead and just show you guys you know every single concept without me cutting out any kind of information so thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out